Hey besties, today we're doing a hair video. Yay. Clean queen, and basically, I'm gonna show you how I do my hair for days that I don't want to. Mm. Thank you, Sarah. So, I turned the lights on. So, I'm gonna show you how I do my hair for the days that I don't want to put heat on it. So, like my recovery days, do you know what I mean? Where you just want to like treat your hair, make your hair feel moisturized and like so healthy. Clean, clean, yum. Hydration, not hydration, coffee. Mm. So, yummy. Anyway. Let me show you. This, this is from The Ordinary. It is called Multipeptide Serum for Hair Density. So basically you just do this. It's got like a pipette thing, like all the other ordinary products. And you just boop, you get that. I put it in the crown of my head. Do you, do you guys ever get pain in your hair? I don't know if that's normal, but I get some pain if like my hair's up for too long. And normally it's in the crown. And, and that's this, probably where like, where like my hair's ripping out. Yeah. Yeah, so that's where I like to put the hair density stuff. Maybe a bit at the front. There we go. Massage, it feels nice and cold. Nice and cooling. Just do a little massage. I don't know how often you're even supposed to use this. I only use, use it. it every day. Really? I don't use it every day. I think mum uses it every day. She really likes it. Yeah, but it made such a big difference on mum's hair. Yeah, it made a huge difference on my mum's hair. It made it much thicker. And so, it grew so fast. Yeah, really quick. So I, I definitely highly recommend this if you guys are struggling with like hair density. It's also got UV protection in it, which is good because you know I only discovered recently that your hair needs protection from the sun. I didn't know this before. It doesn't have a smell. No, it smells like nothing. And it doesn't really leave your hair greasy. It's just like it, water. It feels like water. It doesn't feel like oil. It feels really nice. It feels cold. We also have some natural recipes that we use. Rosemary. Clove. There's a rosemary water that I make at home and spray into my hair and a clove water that we do that as well. So if you guys want those recipes, let me know. Rosemary is supposed to be for hair growth as well and hair health. And so, is, so is clove. And for hair loss and like to prevent hair loss and that kind of stuff. So if you guys want those recipes, tell me and I'll let you know. So we can get back into a nice pony, neat, neat, clean, clean look. Do you know what I mean? Like pony or bun or plait, that kind of thing. So that you can just go about your day with products in your hair, maybe a mask in your hair, and no one will really, people will just be like, her hair sticks back, she still looks clean. Do you know what I mean? And your hair's gonna thank you because it's gonna be like, oh, Feeling so healthy and loved today. This is the leave-in. This is really nice. I used to have a small, really small one. And I kind of got the huge one and I was like, so much is in here. It's called It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. Made in the USA. What brand is it? It's a 10. It says on the back, it inhibits dry, damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, helps replace lost protein, seals and protects hair color, keeps... What? No, not keeps. Helps prevent the ends, inhibits hair breakage, creates silkiness, thermal protection. I didn't know this was thermal protection. Did you? No, I knew that. I didn't know that. I've coloured my hair a lot. I don't usually spray it directly on my hair, but you can because it's like a spray. But I spray it into my hand and it looks like, it doesn't look like what you think. So, do you know how sprays are just kind of like watery? It's not watery, it's, like it's cream. cream. Can you see? It's like a cream, it's not a water. So it's very strange that they put it in a spray and not just like a pot. Do you put it on your hand and then Yeah, it in. I always put it on my hand. So Do you not? No, but when I put that in my hair, like, stays up. Yeah, it's nice for like a, a slick back moment. So I put quite a generous amount in. Don't be shy. It doesn't like stay. Do you know what I mean? It just kind of disappears. Even if you, even if you don't put your hair up, it doesn't like leave any weird casts. It just kind of dries. Do you know what I mean? It just dries into nothing. Yeah. So I usually put a bit extra on this side of my head than I do the other side because I bleached this section of my hair and I didn't bleach the other section of my hair. So this bit needs a bit more help. I'm feeling like my hair needs extra love, extra moisture. I put some of this in, which is called Redkin, Fifth Avenue, New York. Extreme Strength Builder Plus. Is that a mask? It's a mask. It's a mask. It's a mask. For the shower. Can I not leave? It says leave in 5 to, 10, five to 15 minutes. And then wash off. Yeah. Can I, I You can leave it in. Because I leave it in all day. Yeah. So. But 
Like, I also use this in the shower, but I leave it in all day if I want to. This is for bleached hair. Yeah. If you guys have never bleached your hair, maybe don't use this. And if you have like a drier hair type, right? For, if you because it adds hair. protein. So yeah. please read. Don't just buy whatever I buy. Coloured my hair a lot. So I use products for coloured hair and for bleached hair because I need the strength. What happens when you bleach your hair is it removes some of the protein from your hair and it breaks down the keratin in your hair. Follicle, I think. Shaft. Shaft. <laughs> These types of products, like this Redken product, put back protein into your hair. If you already have a lot of protein in your hair and you put more protein in your hair, it can get more brittle. And which, break. Is, which will make it break. So for people without protein, this will help it from ripping and help it from snapping. For people with protein, it can be too much protein and it can break your hair. So please be careful, okay? Warning, please use this if you've bleached your hair, okay? If you have not bleached your hair, an alternative to this kind of stuff, a hydrating mask or a hydrating leave-in conditioner for your hair type. I don't have a dedicated hair mask that I'm like, this is the, the this thing. is the mask. I just kind of see what I have and I'm like, oh, this is nice. Like this particular one well, that I just used. The way shampoo and conditioner were really nice. And they have different for different hair. Like yeah. in... they have for different hair types. So you can check that out if you want. I have the way um I have some way with me now that I'll show you in a minute. But for this one I bought specifically because I bleached my hair. I bought it right after I bleached my hair and I was like, okay, I need a mask for bleached hair but when I didn't have bleached hair when I had before I bleached it I was just kind of using any any moisturizing mask in this process I feel like I've rambled on enough so let me brush my hair now when I'm at this stage I just brush it and I know you're supposed to start with the bottom but I always just brush the top down first and then I go down so I brush the top down and I start at the bottom what's that song that Rapunzel sings she sings? The lady in Rapunzel sings it to her while she brushes her hair. So that her powers can come out. I don't know what's that. Let your light shine, something like that. Shine on me. So I just brushed my hair. And it's got like a good amount of moisture in it now. Okay, next step. Sometimes I don't use this. This is the Way Matte Pomade. And it's incredible, to be honest. It's really good for like if you're going out out like if you're going to dinner and you're like okay i want to do a bella hadid bun and i need it to not move all night this is really good and not be crispy because you know gel is like crunchy this isn't crunchy like if you brush gel. it out yeah gel is not good for your hair so i wouldn't recommend gelling down your hair pomade is much better and this pomade in particular is really good i don't really use this very often because it makes my hair greasy to be honest after like with this mask the next day i can take it out and it will just be like wavy you wouldn't really notice if i brushed it out it, you don't really see the product in there you don't have to wash it next day this i need to wash it so do it on your last day so do it on your last unless day unless your hair is going to be up all week yeah, or unless you're going to do your hair like the same, if you're going to put it up again tomorrow, then you can use this as well. But I would I would use it on like the day before I wash or the night that I'm washing. Like if I'm going out and then I know I'm going to wash my hair when I get back, I'll use it. Like also really don't use a lot of it. Okay. I do my hair first. I put it up first and then I put this on top. Just the last thing. I have this magical brush. It doesn't really matter where it's from. I got it from noon. Um, it's basically a bristle brush. Like... It's called a ball brush. This one's vegan. This is a but vegan. Then, so we put all of our creams and stuff in our hair. You can always put more than what I've put. I would recommend to put more product in the end than at the top. Definitely. Always put more product in the end. The bottom is what, what needs the most love normally because it's been around the longest. It's had the most wear and tear. So now what I do. Also, do you like my sunglasses? They're new. They're, well, they're new but old. They're vintage. They're from. Shop my bolt, love them. So if I brush all my hair back like that, and then pick my hair up from the back. So I can I can feel the bumps. So I know there's bumps. So I'm gonna smooth them with the brush. I'm gonna do like a mid mid level bun. Mid level poo needs to start, but you can do high or low. I really like. I've been into low buns these days. Can you guys see? You know, you just need to take it day by day. Some days are more important than others, does that make sense? So like, if you're just doing it 
just to like run to the shop or whatever or like just to live your day this is fine okay so i'm gonna tie that you've got like a weird thing about bumps i hate bumps <laughs> i hate hair bumps and about your head being square i have a really square head i'll tell you guys in a second hold on now i've got my ponytail so let me show you guys what i mean so sometimes so i've been doing this like slicked hair but like since secondary school we've been doing slicked hair not with the way but like with this cream we used to use gel at one point me and sarah don't recommend and i've always felt like i've had these like so i don't know if you can tell right now um i have a double crown so the basic crown is what you'd have at the back of your head here and that's you know like on a baby's head where you can see the hair it's like in a spiral motion so that's the direction that the hair is growing in i have like two of those so my hair grows in two directions on that side so it's kind of like like that so it makes my head, head look really square and it makes it pointier on these two sides so i really try hard to like really slick it and make it rounder from here so sometimes i don't slick the middle part as much as the sides so that it looks like my head's rounder instead of flat at the top and then round on the sides does that make sense um, i have like really i have a pet peeve about bumps on my head and i have a pet peeve about the shape of my head so right now it's like i'm not taking it that seriously i'm not going anywhere if i was just going to like maybe the mall or to run some errands today i'll do this i my head in a ponytail now i'll just wrap it up i probably put actually a little bit more leave-in on my ends just here they're a little bit dry, screaming at me. Just going somewhere casual. I can just do a little curl, curl it with my finger, grab it, and twirl it. So that bun is done, you see? And then I'll just tie the hairband around it, and that's done. And maybe if I have some like flyaways here, I'll just put a bit more leave-in on that and just wipe it down. The other option, it's a bit more fun than a bun. I actually really like slicked back low plait, which I actually wore slicked back low plait. So usually I make Sarah plait my hair for me. Sarah, can you plait my hair for me? I don't have um, bobbing pin. Bobby pins? Bobbing pins? What are they called? Bobby pins. Bobby pins. But you can bobby pin this, but then I don't think that that's that like, cute because like, you can still see that bobby pinned do you know what i mean we come closer to you guys do you see my flyaways i have really stubborn baby hairs here or flyaway hairs or whatever this is what i'll do if i'm on a night out i don't want that to show this is how much i'll take do you see sorry i just put my middle finger up at you see that's how much not a lot do you see that tiny bit and then i just do this with my finger on my palm i'll just go right on the flyaways and i'll do that then that's done. I find that if I put the wax on before I put my hair up and I try and put up my whole head, my head gets bumpy. So that's it. And do you see how like much better it is? There's no flyaways now. It's completely slicked. Do you see? Oh, there's a little bit there. And then now, if I'm going out, out, then I'll hairspray my hair. What's the hairspray we use? Mm -hmm. This is the hairspray I use. I'm not going to put it on now because I don't want to, but it's called Supreme Hold. This is the hairspray, I think this is the only hairspray I've ever used in my life. Unless I'm at the salon. Micro diffusion hairspray, L'Oreal. But people also do it with extensions and it looks amazing. Yeah. Like a long extension plaque looks like, whoa, like I'm going out. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm here today. Can you see me? Yeah, it's me. Anyway, I think it's really cute. Boop, 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 boop. I think it's even nicer lower mm -hmm. sometimes. Because sometimes it's like, oh. You boop. had it low enough. Blog. Yeah. I hope this video was helpful. I love you. Hope you learned something. See you next time.